Hello, we're, we're Moss Charmley. And on this episode, we're going to talk about how to draw dynamic poses with CSP. Also known as Clip Studio mm-hmm. Paint. It's the animogram. So, <laughs> yes! <yeah>. So, <laughs> the definition of dynamic is pretty much objects in motion, energy, and activity. Yes! Right? Okay. So, we're going to show you how to make your drawings and your characters more dynamic. Yeah. Okay. Well, she gives you some tips that you can practice. So here we go, right? Yes. Okay. Let's start. Number, Number one. one. Emotion. Mm-hmm. So why emotion? I okay. don't know. <laughs> emotion is what drives your characters to action. Yes. So what is the emotion or action your character is conveying? Mm-hmm. You can add a lot of extra to your character if they're emoting with their body language. Exactly. So show their emotion and action in their body language mm-hmm. as well as their face. So mm-hmm. the face isn't the only thing that shows emotion. No. They, that character could be uh, frustrated or really angry or somebody's just depressed and sad. And mm-hmm. you can show that in their body language. Exactly. Exactly. Shoulders are dropped. Shoulders are up. There's a lot to be said about posture. Yes. You know? So yeah, that totally is part of the emotional state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So questions, you know, to ask yourself might be, what is the emotion action, you know, is your character conveying? What are they feeling? Yeah. What's their motivation? What presence does your character have Mm, is is another one. Are they aggressive? Are they... Mm -hmm. Sad. Sad. Are they happy? Yeah. Are they gleeful? You know, it's very, you're going to have a very different setup when you're thinking about, you know, a magical girl opposed to a little Boichi. You know, there's a there's a there's a there's a juxtaposition. Yeah, the, you, if you so, want to show characters different motivations, posturing. Right, there we go. <laughs> show people's posturing. There we go. With a wand or a bat. Yeah. Sorry. Great example. <laughs> great example. Yeah, right. Oh, number two, right? Yes. Number two, cool angle. Yes. Yes, always. You can change the angle of the camera. In this day and age, with technology being the way it is, and Clip Studio Paint, it's literally that easy. You know, digital you need art. to digital it's art, wonderful right? like that. <laughs> you know, the character can be enhanced and, and the drama can be intensified in a scene if you change, you know, where that where the camera is looking at. Yeah. You know, above, below, to the side. All of that has to do with, you know, part of that emotional state, part of that movement, yeah. the energy, right? So tilting your character can enhance and dramatize mm-hmm. the scene and show the direction of the movement too. Mm-hmm. It's super important. Yeah. Right? Number three, mm-hmm. foreshortening. Mm-hmm. This is what makes your characters and movements come out at you. Like the hand or a leg or mm-hmm. anything, really. Exactly. Just a foot to the face. Anything. <laughs> anything, really. You know? And it doesn't even mm-hmm. have to be violent. <laughs> no, it doesn't have to be violent. It could be the wand. Yeah. It could be the hand. Yeah. So things that we, tips that we really want to give mm. for foreshortening. So mm-hmm. you can actually put these things into action. Yeah. Is practicing anatomy. Mm-hmm. And I know that sounds very like, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> you don't have to, you know, know yeah. every muscle group it's, and bone. Yeah. You and, don't need to know the sinew. You don't need yeah. to know, you know, ligaments, tendons, where everything goes. But you do mm-hmm. having a basic knowledge. Proportional knowledge yeah. of the human body is super important. You need to kind of know it. Yeah, you'll, it, knowing it will help you out. Mm-hmm. It will improve your art. Yeah. So knowing the rules to break them in a way that can work. That's the point of even knowing the proportional and musculature yes. system of it uh, for anatomy. Yes, being realistic enough, but stylistic enough too to make it wild, make it mm-hmm. interesting. Yeah, it's got to make sense. Yes. But then it's also got to not make sense. Yeah, <laughs> it it has this like nice funny juxtaposition that, exactly that sometimes pictures don't quite mm-hmm. make sense, but they keep your interest. Mm-hmm. Ooh, another tip with CSP: you can play around with some of the tools that are, they have, like transformation. You know, that's yes, great, the transformation right? tools yeah. are amazing. Like free transform, distort, skew, perspective. Yes. You know, lasso apart and play around. You know, use with those tools. With those tools, yeah. And see what you know? kind of foreshortening Augment you can add image. Exactly. to your picture with you know? that. Just lasso a hand, make it a little bigger, see what happens. Yeah, it's play wonderful. around with it. Don't feel limited, right? Yeah. Exactly. Other tools in CSB, like the 3D modeling, you can play around with. Yes, that's a great tool to use. Especially if you're feeling a little, you know, uncomfortable or or unsure of yourself with proportion. If you feel limited and you you don't feel confident in your anatomy yet, you know. Play around and start learning it by by just practicing Mm -hmm. with it, too. Yeah. Oh, uh, another cool 3D feature in CSB is that you can extract a pose from an image 
or photograph and place it in the 3D model and it will mimic it. So that's an excellent way to sort of just give yourself a visual that you can go from. Right? Yeah. So yeah. I'd recommend too that um, sometimes in a 3D models or in they, they have a tendency to be a bit stiff. Mm -hmm. That marionette thing. Yes, yeah. yes. And sometimes it's it's a good idea to uh, stretch limbs to show more movement, mm -hmm. to yeah. sort of be more dynamic with it exactly. and augment yeah. something. Mm -hmm. Tweak it. Yeah, you know? tweak it just yeah. to give it more interest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So finding that, that little balance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, on to number four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> show movement. <laughs> How do we do that? So you can show movement in different ways through your art. For example, S and C shapes. Very true. They're so everywhere, aren't they? They are everywhere. And it, it sounds kind of funny, but it's like looking at dynamic pictures, you'll notice sort of a lot of S mm -hmm. shapes or C shapes. But you Try to find them. Yeah. Images right in front of you. Yeah. In your manga, in your comics, paintings, wherever. You'll notice in like a lot of twisted torsos or just sort of arms or mm -hmm. it, you'll notice them in all sorts of things mm -hmm. and, and it really that's a really cool way to to show movement it simplifies the movement yeah it brings it down to sort of like the root yeah you know in a way it's literally it like, kind of gives is, you a simple yeah. way to mm -hmm. remember oh i yeah. can do that that mm -hmm. kind of works exactly you can also show movement through ah. wind clothes fabric hair moving mm -hmm. sort of that wind force you know exactly yeah. You don't feel like you need to be limited to by just the character moving. Yeah, you're yeah. you're not limited to the character moving. Mm -hmm. a, a a great way to to use is uh, fabric mm -hmm. is a great way to show mm -hmm. movement exactly. and uh, even like shoelaces on a character. If your character is wearing tennis shoes mm -hmm. and they're falling or running or kicking, mm -hmm. you could show that through yeah. through those little ropes, those little tiny shoe ropes. Mm -hmm. Physics <laughs> exists. Yeah. Think about it. Think about the gravity movements pretty incredible yeah hair makes you know? things dynamic yeah. it's kind of a funny way to describe it too is karate movies exactly right <laughs> Ooh, shell and soccer yes that's absolutely it. sorry <laughs> great movie popped in my head right there so i was thinking about it yeah sorry amazing it's it's like you'll you'll they'll kind of have that thing where every time somebody punches somebody they'll have like a burst Oof. of like baby oh, powder totally come it's out like, at it's them. such a hard impact he's just totally ripped all the epithelials <laughs> off of his skin it's like dang <laughs> yeah, it's it sh it adds it shows mm -hmm. that movement. Yeah. It shows that wind and that force. Mm -hmm. So kind of think of ways you can put that into mm -hmm. your art to show sort of like maybe debris or mm -hmm. um, moving around. Mm -hmm. So showing sort of that environment as well. Also in in Clip Studio Paint to sort of use the blur tools mm. is kind of a neat way to add a sort of movement on the edge of things. Exactly. So that that kind of helps exactly. as well. You know, with all of the digital tools, just don't think that you can't use a cinematic look. Yeah, yeah, like literally, like if things are in the background, make them out of focus. Yeah, if you want things, that really. I mean, even in it. that dynamic pose, I mean, you could actually have a person's feet out of focus. Well, those Gaussian well, blurs like, really right? get you. Use it. It's that perspective blur and procreate. Like yeah. they have a lot of that going on. So really great. Use tools. the tools. It, uh, yeah. So, so uh, we're on the, number five. Right? Oh no! Wait. Oh sorry. Um, the biggest tip we have is to really practice movement. Is drawing gestures. And yeah, you heard it in school. Yeah. But. So gesture drawings are just quick drawings of movement, uh, you know, of a character or their basic form. Mm -hmm. And this is a great way to practice dynamic pose. And I highly recommend like watching dancers mm -hmm. and drawing these quick gestures of people dancing. Just that very simple kind of like, this is what they're doing. Get it down, you know. Yeah, it's and a very keep it simple. Don't get complex. Have fun. Gestures are just quick, mm -hmm. very you great know, for warm ups, especially. Yeah, yeah, and you could use those gestures. You could take those yeah. gestures and use them for mm -hmm. a, a finished picture. Exactly. So and and mm -hmm. play around with it. Yeah. Uh, another tip. We're on number five. Number five. <laughs> Here we go. Silhouette. Yes, silhouette. Mm -hmm. When you flat your character, you can see their form, their silhouette, basically. Um, to make your drawings really stand out, we recommend drawing your character's limbs, you know. You know, to be more away from their body. Yeah. This allows you right? yeah. to see more of the character and it even makes them more recognizable to people. Yeah. So you can kind of have a more recognizable mm -hmm. character yeah. and movement. Height, shapes, yeah. everything. It's all part of it. Even like unique hairstyles. So yeah. that's kind of a very mm -hmm. good like character 
use those fact, those general, yeah. characteristics as part of the movement. Yes. Make sure they're dynamic. Number six, play with composition. Don't forget to use negative space. Yes. Don't make those donut holes. Yes. Right? A donut hole is sort of like when your character is, is like right in the middle of the screen mm-hmm. or right in the middle of the paper, whatever you're using. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's everybody kind of, everyone does it. Yeah, everyone does <laughs> but, it. It's but wrong. to add more dynamic mm-hmm. action to your character, you know, put it on this, put it on the corner, put it on the side, put it across the screen, yeah. mm-hmm. change that angle of the camera. Yeah. And that, all of that, with that composition and negative space can really pump up your character and mm-hmm. add more dynamic Yeah, you motion. could end up creating a, a, a picture that you would not have expected or even, you know, thought you could do because it actually takes you out of the box, you know, of, of I'm just drawing this. Like, yeah. you're going to actually add more. You're going to give more. Yeah. It, it could be very experimental if you let it. You know, yes. Do that. So have it's really important. fun with yeah. that. Don't feel you're you have to be stuck in that mm-hmm. that donut hole. Yeah. So. Okay. Oh, we have a big tip. Yes. One big one. Another weight, tip. right? Yes. Where is the weight being distributed in your character? How is it affecting the movement? All of this can help you show the speed and even the weightlessness yeah. even in, in different things, right? I yeah, mean, it, where their weight is moving, mm-hmm. where, where it's planted on the ground. Yeah. These things help show that motion. Mm-hmm. It even has that sort of like the character's kicking or mm-hmm. their one leg is planted and the other leg is in motion. It kind of gives it a stability. Yeah. And it kind of has that... Um, you can tweak it. Imp- you can increase the impact by its you know positioning. Like You can really fool around with that. You know, gravity is a real deal. It is, and it affects and, character. Right? You've got, you know, physics exists. Make sure that it's part of it, you know. And and even, you know, mess with it. Bend with it. You know, you can increase movement if someone's a little off balance. Their center bounce a little off. Don't think that you can't do that. So, you know, we really want to say with this that you can use all of these rules and all of these these tips and suggestions with everything you draw. Even yeah. animals too. Yeah. This is not just people. No, that's you know, a good point. We use we say a lot of examples with people, but mm-hmm. everything you draw, I mean you yeah. can make a vase, you know, dynamic on the table. You sure can. Go from, you know, donut donut hole mm-hmm. to whoa what's that yeah, you know right? this is interesting and it could tell a story exactly whether you know? you're drawing a mm-hmm. comic manga mm-hmm. um storybook anything. anything yeah yeah setting the stage yeah basically for the story in that specific panel yeah. okay we hope that this helps all of these things help you mm-hmm. draw more dynamic characters and poses yeah. and really helps you improve your art mm-hmm. and helps you Tell your story better if you're telling a story through your art and just have a great time. Yeah. (laughs) Sometimes just thinking a little differently or hearing it from someone else can really help out. Yeah. And we really hope that that's what this does. So. Moss Charmley out. (laughs) Exactly. Newtonian physics. Don't forget it. (laughs) It's about the apples. No, it's not. That's stupid. Have fun, no worries. Yeah, always have fun. You gotta have fun. You gotta right? have fun. Exactly. All the time. <laughs> Every day.